Hey guys, what is going on? This is the Spartan of another Battle Nations unit review. Um, but before I start, I want to give Caverlock a huge thanks for letting me use his account so I, this review could be possible. Today we are going to review the Ironclad, which is a boss drop unit from the Dreadnought. Let me just move my mic out of my face. It's really annoying. Um, you only have about a 5% chance to get one of these things. So it is a rather rare unit. Um, so, it has two attacks, the Mega Bombardment and the Bombardment. Um, one, of, one attack hits a single unit with splash damage for, over, I think, like three or four times. Yeah, four, doing 100 to 178 damage per hit. And the other is just a regular Bombardment, like you see on the, uh, what's, what's this thing called, the Mammoth class ship. There we go. I forgot these things. So, both of these attacks do, do fairly high damage, as you can see there. It does almost as much damage as a rank 6 M10 battleship. Yeah, almost. And... The thing about the Mega Bombardment that I do not like is that it cannot, it does not have any armor piercing. So if you hit a unit with this attack, it's most likely just going to shear all the armor off of it before it actually gets a kill. Um, it's a pretty annoying thing, but if you ever target a unit that doesn't have any armor on, like this one, you're just going to instantly annihilate it. There's nothing you can say about that. So I can imagine the Ironclad actually being fairly useful against the Dreadnought, which is the unit you get the Ironclad from. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to test that when I get my own. So the thing about the first attack is it cannot hit air, so you won't be overkilling air units, sadly. But the second attack can, so there's still hope for your overkill dreams. Well, it won't overkill it, but it does some fairly decent damage, as you can see. The thing about both of these attacks is that they just do not have, uh, well, 20% armor piercing on a second one. and Well, 20% armor piercing, it's not going to get you anywhere. Now, if let me just find a fully armored unit so I can show you that this thing just has a hard time going through armor. It's not a bad thing. I mean, there are plenty of... I mean, a good another good example of a unit that does sort of the same thing is the EMP attack from the rover. Um, that attack is a really powerful attack that can cause stun, but it just shears through armor rather than to the actual unit, so... Two of them is usually the best case, so having two of them is usually something that you want. Um, another thing about the Ironclad, it is completely invincible to being uh, breached, and it's invincible to being stunned. So, that's a bit of a bonus. Um, I'm going to attack this uh, Raptor-class ship here with my Ironclad, so you can see how much damage it does. Yeah. It just shears right through the armor, as I've said before. I mean, that's not a bad thing. It, it tore all the armor off of it. Now this unit is still is fairly easy to get killed. Um, I'm not honestly not sure what else I can say about it. Oh yeah, it's this unit has resistances to practically everything except torpedoes, so if you see any submarines lying around, you're going to want to take care of them as soon as possible. Because torpedoes can do a real number on this thing within a relatively short amount of time. So, I'm going to finish up the battle, I'll get to the stats, and I'll, that'll be the end of the review. Let's see, yeah, torpedoes are something you do not want hitting your ironclad. 
Then again, you probably don't want torpedoes to hit anything. Because that breach chance, especially on regular naval units, is annoying. Alright. Now, for its stats... That's right here. Alright, so the Ironclad, you have a 5% chance to get one of these, and it comes pre-ranked at rank 3 if you're level 70, I believe. So, excuse me. It has 475 hit points, 285 armor, 30 bravery, 44 defense, and it's a blocking unit. That comes to a total of 760 total HP. Um, it's, it has bonuses to offense and power and crit. Its base health resists 45% of explosive damage, 15% of depth charge damage. It takes 20% of extra torpedo damage, so you're going to want to watch out for that. It takes it resists 55% of piercing damage, 20% of fire damage, and 45% of crushing damage. Its armor resists 55% of explosive damage, 15% of depth charge damage. It takes 10% extra torpedo damage. It resists 55% of piercing damage and 45% of crushing damage. Its iron turrets, well, both have two ammo, but the first one has a six-turn reload with the second one having a five-turn. The Mega Bombard does 118 to 178 times 4 explosive damage with a cooldown of 1, 1 MOUs, 1 to 3 range, direct line of fire, 70 offense, 11% base crit, negative 9% crit versus sub, and 20% armor piercing. The Bombard does 180 to 246 explosive damage with a cooldown of 1, 1 MOUs, 1 to 2 range, a contact line of fire, 60 offense, 16% base crit, negative 4% crit versus sub, 66% crit versus air, and 20% armor piercing. So, another thanks to Caverlock. Thank you, you made this review possible. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was Sparn, and goodbye.